Hello everyone, it is Gaming on Linux Guide, and today I'm going to show you how to install modded Minecraft, which is a little more complex and has a few more steps. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have Java installed. So to do that, Java dash version, and if you have it installed, it'll come up looking like this. Otherwise, you can do sudo apt update. or your Linux distro equivalent, and then do sudo apt install default-jdk. But I already have it installed, so I don't have to do anything else. Next up, you're going to want to get your browser open and search multi-mc, which is a Minecraft instance manager which means you can install lots of different kinds of Minecraft. So you want to download and install, but you want to make sure that you download the development version because it has a lot of very helpful new features. You can extract it anywhere you like, but I am going to extract it to my desktop because I am going to do that to you so I can show it off to you and I can show you how to install it. So here we go. I just extracted it. And now you've got this. So this is pretty hard to use. But you can always do this with the terminal. You can do dot forward slash multi mc which will of course start it but i will show you a much easier way to do it then so i know american english so i'm going to click that it should detect your java if you have it installed and you're probably you're going to want to change this right away to probably about half of your ram so i have 16 so i'm going to go 8096 next you can enable analytics, which will help them, you know, figure out any bugs, which I usually do. And then it opens. Now, it's really annoying to have to open terminal and yada, yada, yada. So what you can do is you can create a launcher and name it something like multi-mc. Now, the working directory is going to be multi-mc. So you need to make sure you pick that one. And the command will be dot forward slash multi. I don't know why I keep adding a C. There, MC. Create. Alrighty, it is over on my other screen. So here it is. So if I double click this now, it opens up right away. Now, the next part is pretty easy. You want to go to settings accounts it's like hey there's no new account you click add and then you log in to your minecraft account uh, which i will do right now because i want to show you what to do so here we go i have a minecraft account email and then i've got here we go this much memory allocated and there we go okay so next up, you want to do add instance. So there are two ways that you can install Minecraft mod packs. You can go to curse mod packs and you can, you probably want to browse this anyway, because otherwise you don't really know what a mod pack is about. And that makes it a lot harder to enjoy it because you want to find one that you really, really like. So I am a little bit of a fan of this one, but I also really like Minecraft Eternal. And but all the mod six is on the latest version, which is pretty cool because it has like the Nether update. And then if you want, you can click this button. You don't have to click install, download. You can click got it. And there we go. 
and once we do that we go to our downloads and you can drag whoops you can drag and drop it right there it'll say import from zip you can click OK and then it will extract the mod pack which may take a while because first it needs to figure out what mods are included and then it has to download them all which depending upon your internet can take some time so right now it is downloading mods um, if you would like to be able to see what it is doing because right now it's just a progress bar you can go back to that launcher edit launcher and you can say run in a terminal and it'll show you more detail into what it is doing plus there is cat mode so if you press the cat you'll get a cute picture of a cat right here in the middle of multi MC so right now it is downloading mods nothing too exciting is happening um, except you know of course Minecraft Minecraft is a lot of fun especially the modded ones I am personally not a big, huge fan of vanilla though I understand why it is popular and I prefer modded because I really enjoy all the extra mechanics it has I love Botania which is a magical tech mod I know it sounds sort of uh, a sort of an oxymoron where it's like two things that shouldn't go together but it works really well and then you've got like um, uh, not I think it's not mind factory you've got immersive engineering um, and I don't know which other mods have been ported over alrighty so then once you have it all set up you can do a couple things you can change the icon uh, to something like the fox because who doesn't like a cute fox picture uh, you can make sure to launch it offline and you can launch it you can also just double click on it like this and then it will get the libraries from Mojang which are of course the base of Minecraft so like your minecraft.jar and then it will start up after it gets all of the files because it was getting all the libraries like the minecraft.jar and now is getting the base resource pack which is a, a little bit large but not too bad again it really depends on the speed of your internet I have uh, 15 megabit per second which is relatively fast ish uh, for the US anyway so it's taken surprisingly a while but you know that's not too bad um, it will start as soon as it's got all of the necessary files again if you really want to know what files it's getting you can edit launcher and make sure that you tap that check that run in terminal also if you don't like it being a gear you can click the icon button and it will eventually pop up and ask you hey where which one do you want us to use and of course again you can pick as long as you have an appropriate icon file but it seems to be a little bit temperamental at the moment oh there we go it just was taking a little time to load so as you can see it's got all the icons it can find so you can give it a custom icon if you so feel like so we're still waiting on these assets to load uh, not much else going on here we do have a little bit of time to still wait and of course my minecraft does take a lot longer to load because it's got all those little bits and pieces to install also it's because it is using modded minecraft technically um, is illegal because the way that they get the mods in there is by they took the game and they basically figured out all the code for it and now they just like inject new code into the minecraft.jar um, which is illegal um, but my but minecraft's creator um, mojang was okay with it so they just keep doing it because it makes they make cool stuff 
and uh, hopefully one day we'll get an official um, like modding tools but right now um, you're stuck with a much harder to use forge unfortunately all right there we go it took about three minutes to load everything and now minecraft should be popping up momentarily it uh, it might take a little bit because again it's trying to get all of that wonderful modded goodness in one place but while it is doing that I will sh oh never mind perfect all right so now you can see it is loading everything it's loading all 255 mods which is a lot and but I'm just gonna close it because I'm not gonna show it to you running because I'm sure you know what running Minecraft looks like. Sometimes it can be a little bit temperamental as to closing it. Worst case scenario, you can just task manager it or your equivalent. And kill. Yes. Alrighty. So it'll probably pop up with like a, uh, hey, this crashed. Yeah, right there. Crash, don't but we don't have to worry, thankfully, because I crashed it intentionally. Oops, I accidentally closed it. Okay, now the reason I had you get the development version is because it's now way easier to get mod packs. So you've got AT Launcher, FTB, Technic, and Twitch. These are all websites that host mod packs. So what you can do is, let's say I talked about Minecraft Eternal, this MC Eternal. So I type MC Eternal, and then the mod pack shows up and then I click OK and it does all of the steps for me, which is really nice because otherwise it is a little bit of a pain to get the zip and then drag the zip on and then do all the other stuff. But here it just downloads the zip for you and then you are off to playing right away. Though this is a development version, so I will warn you it's not perfect. It can crash. So if you want something a little more stable, definitely pick the non-development uh, <laughs> version. So there we go, it downloaded the zip. Now it's downloading our mods. Whoops, I pressed the Windows key on my keyboard and it will download our mods. Again, this will, might take a little bit depending upon your internet speed. Now we just wait until it is all done. And in the meantime, maybe get yourself some water because water is really important, staying hydrated. And you just wait a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. Just chill, relax. Think about all the fun you're gonna have in Minecraft, especially with mods, because it's crazy and there's a million things to do now. And then we'll download gonna keep downloading gonna keep downloading and it's almost done and come on oh it's almost at the A and it even uses a the right icon based upon the one found on curse so that has been this tutorial I hope it helped and as always like and subscribe if you like it and have an excellent day.